Pregnancy is a time of hope and anticipation. But for some, anxiety about potential genetic disorders can interfere. Physicians use prenatal evaluation tools like blood and ultrasound tests combined with maternal risk factors to help identify complications during a pregnancy. But only a diagnostic test can accurately determine whether some abnormalities are present. These definitive results can give expectant parents the opportunity to prepare for the possible decisions and challenges ahead. In this podcast, we will review the types of diagnostic testing available and the circumstances that determine their need and use. These diagnostic tests are most often used for the detection of chromosomal abnormalities, which affect about 1 in 160 children. Chromosomes are found in all cells in the body. They provide the genetic instructions for cell function and structure. If they're not formed correctly, or if they're missing or extra chromosomes, the result may be a physical or functional abnormality in the baby. Down syndrome is the most common, well-known chromosomal abnormality among live-born children. Down syndrome is the result of an extra copy of chromosome number 21. These children have distinguishing physical characteristics as well as significant learning disabilities and an increased risk of birth defects. It's difficult for a routine ultrasound exam to detect abnormalities like Down syndrome. Additional tests have therefore been developed for more accurate diagnosis in pregnancy. Chromosomal abnormalities in pregnancy are confirmed ultimately by a diagnostic test. While a screening test produces a numerical chance or the odds of having a problem, a diagnostic test provides a definitive yes or no answer. Diagnostic tests are usually reserved for special situations since they carry the potential risk of complications and require more specialized skills, which limits their availability and increases cost. So who needs a diagnostic test? As most chromosomal abnormalities occur by chance, these tests are offered in pregnancies with an increased risk. The risk may be due to the mother's age, a prior affected child, the results of a screening or blood test, an ultrasound, or an individual's own concern. The two trusted diagnostic tests most commonly used are amniocentesis and chorionic villus sampling, or CVS. What the tests have in common is a definitive diagnosis. The amniocentesis is the most well-known procedure. In an amniocentesis, a physician gathers amniotic fluid from the sac around the baby by inserting a narrow needle and using an ultrasound as a guide. This helps determine the baby's chromosome makeup. Preliminary results can often be obtained in three to four days with the final results in two to three weeks. The amniocentesis is greater than 99% accurate and has a low complication rate of less than 0.3%. Amniocentesis is usually performed between the 15th and 20th week of the pregnancy, but can be performed at any time after 15 weeks. The CVS is performed earlier in pregnancy at 10 to 14 weeks gestational age. A physician gathers a sample of the placenta by inserting a small catheter or tube through the cervix, similar to a pap test. This navigation is also guided by an ultrasound. So which procedure is best for you? The obvious advantage of the CVS is that it can provide parents an answer earlier in the pregnancy than amniocentesis. The complication rate for CVS is less than half a percent. The procedure requires more physician training, which makes it less readily available. Amniocentesis, though usually performed later in pregnancy, is more widely available and may carry a smaller complication rate. We mentioned using these tests for diagnosing Down syndrome or other chromosomal abnormalities, but often an amniocentesis can be used for other pregnancy complications as well. It can help find treatable infections, determine fetal blood type, determine fetal lung maturity, or discover genetic disorders such as cystic fibrosis or sickle cell disease. In conclusion, diagnostic testing provides the only definitive diagnosis for chromosomal abnormalities. Amniocentesis and CVS are both highly accurate tests with low complication rates. Deciding to test for chromosomal abnormalities usually involves a consultation between you and your obstetrical provider. These procedures are performed with a team of care providers, including maternal fetal medicine physicians and genetic counselors who are instrumental in counseling and interpreting the results. UNC maternal fetal medicine physicians and genetic counselors offer a full range of these services, both at the UNC Women's Hospital in Chapel Hill and at Rex Hospital in Raleigh. For more information on prenatal diagnosis, 
visit the UNC Maternal Fetal Medicine website at mombaby.org or call us at 919-966-2131.